Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Learn Oracle. Today our uh, tutorial topics is about manual scrollable master detail page creation and uh, hopefully this uh, video will helpful for you. Uh, uh, before starting the main tutorial part, uh, we are going to show you the uh, demo things and I, as you can see here I already created a instructional page uh, that is required to uh, create this uh, page or page for your application for your better understanding. So I am now going to log into my application uh, that I already created a scrollable master detail page. Um, hopefully it will be helpful for you uh, in your application development. So I am just hit the login button here. Uh, you can see here I already use the system administration app and uh, I also create uh, that types of page here uh, and show you the demo right now. So I am going to click on add employees. Okay, When I click on this. Uh, you can see a classic report will appear with uh, some picture or something okay some data then when i click on here uh, then you can see here i have the master page okay and uh, this is the master table data and uh, i link this data to here okay so as you can see here uh, this is the employee and uh, this is the details uh, portion of that employee okay so um, in this uh, at the same way we can create a more detail page uh, uh, through the link of this page okay through the through the link of this master data so uh, this is our uh, preview and uh, we will uh, see more when if you want to see more about this uh, then uh, you can see i also create that type of things too so when i click on this application you can see uh, when i uh, click on here uh, this page finally look like uh, this is the first master page then uh, this is the second detail page then the address portion then the education portion then the training portion then professional qualification portion job story spouse and family information nominee information transfer history and promotion history so uh, each of the uh, region you can access from here when you click on just uh, it will be scroll through the scrollable okay so this is the mm, this will be the main page preview okay though uh, if, if this is a tutorial so that's why i'm just uh, want to show you two to three master detail things okay this is the master data and uh, uh, here is the detail first detail then this is the second detail page then uh, this is the third detail region okay not page and just region okay so uh, for your better information for be your better understanding that uh, you have to remember that uh, the details tables are uh, you should create the details tables and master table first then uh, you will uh, create the master detail page uh, through my tutorial or uh, the scrollable way okay so i cl close these things uh, and um, we are going to create uh, these types of page through the tutorial okay so uh, let's jump to the text file again instructional file and we will create this uh, as a dump as uh, from row or blank play page okay so uh, i just close these things right now and i am um, going to go to my application uh, called daily budget and expense gms uh, as uh, through this instruction you can see uh, first i have to create a classic report page all employees or something uh, that you can name that your uh, page okay so create page then uh, as per application i name it as all employees okay so copy these things uh, the same name so mm, i can create it as a classic report okay so when i click on classic report templates uh, i have the page um page name here and uh, I don't use the include from form page okay I will include the form page totally manually okay no uh, wizard things okay uh, I can create these things also manually but I, I, I create uh, this is the simple classic report you can see so you can create it manually too okay then uh, I'm going to I'm going this portion SQL query and I will put uh, this SQL query there okay so I will copy the things and uh, i will uh, paste this code here okay as you can see here um, you can see the page number will be five not five uh, i just put it uh, 
22 okay and um, page number will be 22 and uh, and I, I, I say this is this will be 23 our next pages okay uh, I will explain this code right now so uh, from here it will explanation will be better first um, I, I have to create a table called employee basic okay uh, you can see this is the employee basic table and uh, here is the column okay that I selected in this query okay here I select employee ID first name middle name last name as uh, concatenated as full name then I create a, uh, then I uh, call the father name column then mother name and uh, blah 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 okay and finally I use this case statement because of uh, I want to show a employee image or store a employee image through this application okay so here i already changed the page number to 23 okay because of our next um, form page will be 23 page number 23 that's why i use 23 employee image here okay but uh, this employee image column is uh, the uh, this employee image column okay this is a blob column we know that uh, we have to uh, if we dis want to display the blob column then we can uh, display in various way so I use uh, this case statement here to show the only image things. Okay, that's why I use this code here. Okay, this is sub query that will return the employee image as blob or percent graph. Okay, using the uh, width property uh, IMG. Okay, as picture. Okay, it's return as a picture and uh, it will call from the employee basic tables. Okay, this is the employee basic table. <laughs> then finally. Um, I have to move uh, again in this space. Uh, I, I do, uh, sorry for the spacing problem because uh, there is not available space. That's why I wouldn't explain this code from here. So no problem. Then uh, I will. Uh, I hope uh, and you understand these things. Okay. Then uh, everything are normal. Then I will place on create button. Create space. Okay. Then uh, I will just uh, run this page you can see here is the output of uh, my sql query okay so i just uh, click on here to handle the image things uh, we can see images are display here but uh, it's uh, just a text format okay so i have to uh, do something change uh, do some change for display the image you have to uh, click on picture then go to the uh, person uh, type person graph and save the things uh, and uh, run the things then you you can see there is no image here okay uh, why not um, uh, because of uh, we still not uh, create the column p23 employee image okay when this form page item will created then uh, through this reference uh, that image will be displayed okay no problem just uh, wait for sometimes okay and uh, now i have to create a button that will redirect to that page uh, that this is the page number 22 and we will go to the page number 23 to insert the employee okay so um, i have to create the things through the instruction file okay and now it's called um, uh, i have to create a button first okay then uh, we will redirect to that page so i am click on here and create a button um, it's a button name create and I can label it as add new employee okay I will save the things um, and um, uh, I have to go to the go to here button is hot and uh, if you wish you can use some icon from here also so I don't want to use the icon and it's a uh, action sub it's called submit page okay I, we wouldn't uh, use the submit page uh, first i have to create another page then i redirect that page to this redirect pa to page in this application okay now i'm going to create the page number 23 for the form okay now i'm going to click on create page okay i i i select it as blank page and um, i will call it add employee add new m p l o y e e s okay add new employees 
and um, then uh, nothing should be here uh, I don't want any breadcrumb just uh, I would like to click on create page you can see uh, a page created with nothing okay I just uh, run the things there is nothing here so uh, I'm going to I'm going to click on component section okay I have to create region as um, okay sorry I have to uh, I have to okay no problem I have I will add the that things later okay then uh, now I have to uh, I have to delete this page because I have to I ha I need that bread come okay I will delete this space again and I will create the page again from here okay then blank page then I will create it add new employee same way and I have to use the use bread come okay no problem then I will create this here <laughs> again because in bread bar I don't want bread bar but I want a scrollable things okay because of our scrollable item property okay then I will uh, create a region here and it's uh, called uh, I will put it at region display selector and uh, named it at region display selector um, just uh, save the things and uh, I will delete these things right now okay then I can ha have the bread bar okay Ekhon now I am uh, going to create another region uh, this region uh, I can name it mm, I can name it as employee basic information okay just employee basic information employee basic information as a static okay so now I have to create some process or something to process the uh, application item in this space so that's why um, I have to um, create a process that is under header process section so I am going to uh, after header okay I am going to after header process section I will create a process called fetch row from employee information okay this is our process name before header uh, just uh, create process and I will name it fetch row from employee information and this will be the um, show legacy and um, it should be as per instruction automatic row paste legacy okay I am going to make it automatic row page legacy okay and in this section I am going to show the table show you the table called um, uh, that table um, okay employee basic these tables I will show you there um, employee basic and the primary key column as I select the ID and primary item I will set the primary item uh, when I will create another region under this region okay I will create a sub region here and this uh, should be called as NBSP okay and uh, NBSP here all the items of the page will be manually uh, created create by me okay then in this section I make it safe and um, there is no save thing because of it, there is no item here okay I create page item and this page item is called the page 23 ID and why I create these things because of I would like to paste the primary key here okay so I am going to this page again and uh, um, why this page is p16 okay it's okay no problem we will make it page 16 no problem 
so that should be changed as um, is page 16 ID okay 1 6 ID so I save the things uh, you can see here still a error exists but I show the I will fix the error right now okay then I save the things and um, as you can see I run the things there is the ID here okay and uh, this uh, because of optional uh, not optional this will be hidden okay I make this hidden item okay um, this I am sorry where I place the hidden no problem it is the select um, this will be optional not hidden and here will be hidden things okay now I save the things um, and run the things there is no error present here okay and uh, in similar way I will uh, create the not page 23 it will be page 16 because of our uh, page are changed to 16 okay uh, sorry for my ignorance because <laughs> I didn't notice the page number and uh, that's why I first uh, delete the page uh, and recreate the page but still uh, the page number is not 23 okay then you you can see uh, I have to um, replace the page 23 with um, page 23 page 16 to page 23 okay replace with uh, control X it will be page 16 I replace all the things here so you can see here all the items are going to the page 16 okay uh, here also this will be page 16 one six okay no problem um, and it's also page 16 then these things will be worked okay um, okay now I am going to create another two process uh, because of uh, pa first process is completed okay you can see uh, first process is uh, completed here because of I already uh, use the automatic row process now I am going to the page process section okay and this here I have the processing section then I will create create process okay and this process uh, name will be the um, process row of employee basic okay um, I just go to there and uh, I place these things process row of employee basic and uh, sh ensure legacy section selected I will place the automatic row page GML legacy okay and uh, you, you can see as per instruction the same things will happen here um, I am going to um, set the parsing schema and um, select the employee basic table again employee basic table again and um, as primary key I will set ID and primary key item I will set P16 ID okay I will save the things uh, and uh, run the things there is no error okay so I'll just check the things now uh, I have to add that item okay uh, and uh, I, I have to add another process because of I have to handle the primary key column because uh, uh, I already told you that uh, this item will be our primary key item because of uh, in our table we can see this is the primary key column okay id and this will be uh, stored unique values that's why i have to process these things through the uh, plsql code okay and um, i that for these things i have to add a um, process call get pk uh, in this in here process section again create process and i have to create get pk and this will be the execute code and um, local database plsql code section i will place these things okay this code i will explain this right now no problem so you can see uh, this will be the p16 okay that means if p16 id is null then select sequence employee information uh, that means uh, this and the sequence of these names are already stored in this database you can see uh, I created a sequence that will be um, used for the employee ID sequence okay you can see sequence employee information okay uh, here is code also you can uh, create 
uh, use this code to create that uh, this sequence also okay so i will use this sequence uh, to store the unique values so sequence employee information dot next value uh, into p16 okay p16 uh, this item p16 id from sys dot dual that means it's uh, come from dual table and uh, when the p page 16 id is null then it will place the p16 id incremented by next value of the this sequence uh, through this plsql code okay then i will um, place ok button here and uh, nothing should be changed here and i save these things uh, finally i am going to here again and then uh, in region body i will um, add a lot of item that uh, that called um, p16 id first name middle name last name and blah 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 okay uh, before this i have to add something um, in uh, to control our transaction that's why i have to create another region um, uh, i have to create some button in this region and after that i will create another region for uh, image handling okay then you can see create a region employee basic information complete here then i will add four button four button in employee basic information and that's our um, just uh, call cancel delete save and create okay for our transactional purpose so i am uh, going here again um, you can see I, I have to go here and i will create button okay create button one duplicate two then i will create it duplicate then i have that four button okay first button i name it cancel okay and uh, when i can hit the cancel button uh, then I have to uh, create a branching here and where this uh, page will uh, redirect us ok then I am going to uh, uh, in this section I am going to redirect to page in this application nodding defined I click here and we, we know that um, our page number is um, 22 right uh, the classic report page uh, then uh, I click on page number 22 and ok uh, then when I run this page you can see four button are here don't worry about the orientation I will uh, fix it later then you can see when I click on cancel button it will uh, just come back here okay and now I will handle these things to redirect this page okay so when I click on add employees is uh, nothing happen here okay I will just uh, click on add new employees uh, button uh, first page that I already created then I will select this button and um, I have to uh, change the behavior of this button ok. Uh, I will select not submit page I will select redirect to page in this application and uh, as per our new design page number was 16 right when I search on 16 then you can see add new employees new page will appear ok I will select it and you can see the 16 page uh, already selected and I can uh, clear the cache of 16 pays here ok ok then I will save the things and run the things ok now you can see when I place uh, press on add new button it uh, redirect me to this form page ok for enter the employee information ok now I am just uh, s uh, select this button ok then um, if this button are in region body section so I select that four button and um, I will go to the um, button position where is the position ok here is the position I will place it as edit ok when I select on edit button and I have to uh, make it hot uh, for the bordering or uh, background color of the button and I save the things uh, and I will run the things you can see that these buttons are uh, just going to the top ok for just um, our alignment purpose then um, I will rename this button uh, as per our uh, tutorial uh, instruction page and then I will first cancel button I already uh, done the things ok now I am going to handle the delete button ok here is the delete button so in delete button I will name the delete button first I new to I will rename it as delete so I will make it as delete 2 and um, I put it as a 
redirect to URL and URL section I have to put a JavaScript code that will uh, ask us uh, when we delete something ok. So, uh, that code should be um, JavaScript from here to here I will copy the things and uh, paste it here ok. I will click on ok and um, I have to put some server side condition here uh, when uh, the delete happens when item is not null which item is not null the item is p16 id that means when the p16 id column have some values uh, and it's uh, not null then uh, the delete action can occur ok so i save the things and i am going to the third button and this button uh, called the save button ok ok i will uh, copy the save level ok i will click on save and I rename it as apply changes ok for leveling and uh, I am going to uh, redirect redirect um, I am going to submit this page ok then you can see I have to uh, submit the page and um, I have to put some action here database action SQL update action ok uh, I am just forget to uh, put some database action here too ok here uh, also some thing you have to sh you should uh, change in delete button section you have to select it database action as SQL delete action ok then I am going to save button again and um, um, this action should be submit and database action should be SQL update action ok I have to pay place it as update action ok and uh, I also have to put a server side condition here um, item is not null and which item item page 16 that means uh, when page 16 have some uh, values that means a uh, that uh, forms is uh, that times in update mode so um, that times the the when the someone place on save button or apply changes uh, hit on apply changes button then the data will be updated okay. and finally the fourth button is what uh, and this is the create button that means this is the actual insert button ok when I am going to insert some data in through this form then I have to place uh, fresh on this page item ok now I am labeling it create and um, label it also create that means uh, also we you can place it as insert you can name it no problem so I'm going to insert or I can s name it add okay no problem just when I add these things uh, then uh, the action should be um, submit page and um, database action should be uh, insert action and same way uh, here is some change item is null okay you can see uh, here is uh, the the item the insert action is occurred when this item value is null ok which item p16 id ok the primary key value uh, the p16 id when is null then the insert action will occur ok I will save the things and run the things ok as you can see there is no item present here and you can also see that uh, the two buttons are already disappeared why you can s tell me so this is your assignment no problem I just uh, leave the question here because of um, this two button gone because of the p16 page item is still have no values here that's why uh, only add button is present here and cancel there is no condition we applied that's why this cancel is used for the navigation so there is no programmatical issue here ok so uh, this add button is uh, required because of I have to put some value here you can see when I click on add uh, there is some uh, error because of some uh, uh, our item need uh, some values uh, because of we still did not put some values here ok. So, I have to add uh, the item right now uh, this is the long things um, I have to pause the video because of uh, ok no problem I will not pause the video I will uh, make it uh, through live ok no problem then um, 
before adding the another page item this uh, almost uh, 16 to 14 to 16 item uh, i have to create another uh, sub region called nbsp to handle the image okay then uh, i will create another another um, sub region under this employee basic okay i will create another sub region here um, and um, this uh, name should be nvsp2 okay not nvsp2 just uh, nvsp okay i will put it nvsp and save the things uh, and uh, this section uh, this won't be static it will be a classic report okay i will show the image here so in this classic report sql query i will put uh, this query for generating the image okay nvsp classic report employee basic information region using below okay now i am going to click on this and i am going to put this uh, query here and as you can see here is p13 id i will make it 16 because of uh, we are in page number 16 here okay so uh, i will uh, click on um, hit on valid validation button and this code has no error okay i will okay the things and uh, save the things okay when i save the things and run the things you can see another region already appear here but without any value so i will uh, hit on cancel button and um, um, i have to uh, do some modification here for updation or something okay so i have to go to the classic report page again and um, i have to put this id um, as link okay or we can uh, select um, another row id or something select row id uh, okay i will uh, place row id here you can see another row id column is created here okay i will place this row id as link and uh, no link defined okay i have to make it uh, for edit button or something so um, i have to place uh, row id okay no problem uh, row id here i just play name it link or something okay then i have to save the things uh, and run the things you can see here is the row id so i have to change this row id uh, face from um, here a row id is the link and i'm going to make the link here 